People's prayers intensify ahead of the Millennium Festival, still five years hence. We are planning a grand ball for this month. I'm sure the students will be most pleased. Yes, certainly. However, we must not devote all of our time to frivolity. We have a new mission for you. We have found evidence of someone sneaking into an unused chapel. It is a building that was once a temporary sanctuary, at a time when the monastery was under renovation. This month, your class is tasked with guarding the chapel and investigating these intruders. With the recent state of affairs surrounding the Holy Church, we cannot afford to overlook any abnormality, no matter how seemingly trivial. I am ordering a seasoned knight to assist you to ensure the safety of the students. In times like these, I am afraid we must always expect the worst. Reporting for duty, Lady Rhea. I thought you two could use the time to bond. And to speak of important matters. <laughs> Appreciate the thought. Bear in mind that Geralt has a separate mission of his own. He will join you once he has finished it. It's true. I'll be away from the monastery for a while. But when I return, I'll come and watch you work. I'll be looking forward to it. Captain? Captain! Where are you? Hey, Professor, have you seen your old man? Too bad. I guess it will have to be you, then. I'm back. Sorry for the delay. My last mission took longer than expected. Captain! Thank goodness you're here. There are reports of demonic beasts near the chapel. Nonsense. I haven't heard anything about the monastery's walls being breached. That's why I'm heading there now, to see what's really going on. You'll join as well, won't you? Of course. We're both sworn to protect this place. It's odd. Just before they appeared, someone saw a number of students heading toward the chapel. They were apparently acting strange, as though they weren't in their right minds. Shortly after, demonic beasts started to appear, one after another. Hmm. The students. There's no way those demonic beasts got in from the outside. But none of that matters right now. We need to act. Go summon your students. Damn it. I wanted to talk to you about something important, but there's no time. Oh, there's never any damn time. But this is much more urgent, so it can hold for now. I'll meet you there.
There really are demonic beasts here. They're emerging from the chapel. I'll head that way. The rest of you, protect the students who weren't able to get away. Help me! These beasts, they're... Stupid beasts! Don't you dare come over here! I'll cut through. To work. Ready. Turn the tables. Come on, you got it. Got it. What's the matter? What should I do? Stay focused. I'm on it. That's my cue. Beast. There's a stone or something on its forehead. I'm here. It's our chance to prevail.
what I was asking. who couldn't get away. Are they okay?
job easier. Stay vigilant. had a chance.
I'll do my best. You saved me. I've grasped it. How lovely. To work. Stay vigilant. We find this. There's our opening. I 
finally mastered it. Sorry. That was a close one. <gasps> you saved me! Thank you! and a trace of evidence to be found in the chapel. This must have something to do with Ramayer. Perhaps... Wait! Huh? Another student? Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a pathetic old man. How dare you get in the way of my brilliant plan, you dog. Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. Survive merely because there is still a role that I require you to fulfill. Sorry, it looks like I'm going to have to leave you now. The first time I saw you cry, your tears would be for me. It's sad, and yet, I'm happy for it. Thank you, kid. This is where your father lived. Hmm? Are you still crying? If turning back the hands of time was not enough to save his life, you must accept what came to pass was fate. Agreed. We cannot let the wicked ones run free. Your father said to look for something here. He must have been referring to whatever is behind that bookcase there. Your father's diary? Huh. His handwriting is prettier than his face would suggest. Well, well. These entries here are from before your birth. He seems to have been writing this for quite some time. That part there. Horsebow Moon. Year 1159. Day 20 of the Horsebow Moon. All is cloudy. I can't believe she's dead. Lady Rhea said she died during childbirth. 
But is that the truth? And still, the child she traded her life for doesn't make a sound. Didn't even cry at birth. Day 25 of the horsebow moon. It's raining. The baby doesn't laugh or cry. Not ever. Lady Rhea says not to worry about a baby that doesn't cry. It isn't natural. I had a doctor examine the child in secret. He said the pulse is normal, but there's no heartbeat. No heartbeat. Day two of the Wyvern Moon. Sunny. I feel I must take the child and leave. But the church is always watching us. I don't know what Lady Rhea has planned. I used to think the world of Lady Rhea. Now I'm terrified of her. Day eight of the Wyvern Moon. More rain. I used the fire that broke out last night to fake the child's death. Lady Rhea is in a state over the news, but I can't change what I've done. I've got to take the child and leave. Well now, that baby must be you. That means... Hmm? Someone is approaching us. There you are. Lady Rhea is looking for you, Professor. And after your audience, why don't you join me at the dining hall? You haven't eaten since... since it happened, have you? Forgive me. I suppose it's too soon to try and coax you back into the normal swing of things. As for what happened to Gerald, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything to stop it. Stay here until you've found some peace. I'll cover for you with Lady Rhea and everyone else. We'll be waiting for you whenever you're ready to return to us. I don't believe it's a sign of strength to just keep moving forward no matter what. Taking the time to grieve for those we've lost? There's strength in that, too. That's what I think, anyway. That said, it's also important to remember that no matter how sad you are, eventually, your tears will dry up. That's when you have to figure out what it is you're living for. Then you can cling to that with all your might and start moving forward again. Four years ago in Dusker, I experienced the same pain you're feeling now. My father was the strongest man I knew, someone I loved and admired deeply. That day, he was killed before my eyes. His head severed clean off. My stepmother, the kindest person I had ever known, left me behind and disappeared into the infernal flames. Everyone who I considered precious, my family and my closest friends, I couldn't save any of them, not a single one. Now, the burden of the work they left behind falls on me. I must ensure they have no regrets. That's my duty as the sole survivor of the tragedy. It's a heavy burden, but accepting it gave me the strength to pick myself up off the ground and start moving again. Start living again. Gerald is gone. So what will you do now, Professor? What must you do? Look deep in your heart, and I'm certain you'll find the answer there. Indelible and inescapable. <sighs> I've probably bothered you enough for today. But I have just one more thought to leave you with. Even now, Sedith is gathering the knights to begin a full-scale search for the enemy. It may not be right away, but before long they will find their trail. No matter what happens or what anyone may say, know that I plan to stand by you, Professor. Through anything. Until the bitter end. Well, did you search deep within yourself as he suggested? And did you find yourself some answers? This book is filled with secrets yet unknown. We must return another time to read the rest. Oh, but I have at least figured one thing out. I know now why our fates are intertwined.
Professor, I have been waiting for you. I am filled with grief at the loss of our most celebrated knight. Gerald was an ally of many years, and also a dear friend. He fell in love with one of the nuns here at Garagmach. Their love produced a child, whom she died giving birth to. It was her decision. She weighed her own life against that of her child's and, in the end, implored me to save the child. Your father never truly accepted that decision. He took the child, took you, and disappeared without warning. Your mother. She was my... I'm sorry for the interruption, Lady Rhea. There's something you must hear immediately. A report from the knights patrolling the area. Very well. Professor, you are dismissed for the day. Please rest and focus only on mending your heart. Understood?